Number seven, which correctly describes the graph below. Uh, so what we're looking for, if we look at these answers, it's saying either linear or nonlinear or function or not a function. So we have to test to see if this graph is linear or nonlinear and if it's a function. Now let's do the linear test first because that's what the answers give us. In order for it to be linear, it has to be a straight line. If it is nonlinear, it is not straight line. So is our graph right here, is that a straight line? It is not a straight line. So we know it is non-linear. So we can cross off these two answers right away because they say they're linear. So now we have to determine if it's a function or if it's not a function. And we do that by testing uh, the vertical line test. So if it's a function, it passes the vertical line test. If it's not a function, it does not pass. And we do that, so we use the vertical line test. We draw a vertical line through multiple points in our graph here. And if it only hits once on each line, which it does, then we know that this is a function because it passes the vertical line test. So it's, it's a function, so we know it's not option three it's going to be option number two. It is nonlinear because it's not a straight line and it passes the vertical line test. So it is a function.